Hey there, everybody. Fet here, and welcome back to... Oh, the stairs over here. <laughs> Fet plays Wasteland 3. We're going to explore a bit. Got some radio static over the radio. Who'd have thunk it? We're going to explore our base a little bit here today. Before we go on some crazy missions and whatnot. Find some loot all over the place. Pretty great. Some scrap. A nice moldy sock. Mm-mm-mm. As far as lock picking level 2, huh? Alright, another moldy sock. Well done, Dismas. <laughs> also some money, which is nice. Hey, whoa, now we're talking. A flamethrower requires big guns. Gotcha. Frag is actually really good. Glance plates. Armor mod for helmet armor. We don't have anyone who is skilled at modding, but in the wasteland you'll find both weapon and armor mods. Installing a mod will improve any equipment that it's attached to, but once installed, it cannot be removed. I assume they can be replaced or something. Alright. Well, that's good to know. We don't have the skills to pay them bills yet, but... Thanks. So apparently, to, yeah, to defend it forever. It's good to know. Um, examine the security systems. Status reports indicate all is normal. An option displaying old security alerts shows a number so long it goes right off the edge of the screen. But we don't have enough nerd stuff. To do something about that. So let's just read the old logs. Log data backed up to archive room server. Oh, we can't. All right. Apparently, we can't do anything with that. I guess we need a nerd. <laughs> Maybe someday we'll have one. Anyway. Rangers, come talk to me when you've got a moment. Want to discuss? Good job, Rangers. Nice Thanks. to be able to hear ourselves think again. And now that it's quite enough to talk. Let me reintroduce you to the great Sergei Gretzky, who's going to be helping you with personnel. He's so great, his last name has a great in it. Hi again, Rangers. Hi again. Damn sorry about your people. I know. But now that you're here, we'll do what we can to get you back on your feet and find you some new recruits. Thanks. Just like the Patriarch promised you. That's good. And I already got you one of the best. Oh, did you? Meet Marcelo Gonzalez, electronics wizard, radio technician, and former dispatcher for the Marshals. He'll be your radio operator. Well, hi there, Marcelo. Howdy, Rangers. Uh, while you were dealing with the alarms, I took the liberty of installing a combat AI in your vehicle. Well, oh. should help you out. That's kind of cool. If you want to chat, I'll be in the operations room getting things up and running. Thanks. Combat AI for our vehicle. Should be more recruits arriving soon. Mm. Ready to tell me how you want to fill out your squad? Speak to Sergeant Gretzky to hire new rangers for your squad. Your squad can have up to six members. No more than four can be rangers. The other two may be filled by companions, such as Marshal Kwan. Companions are unique NPCs who aren't officially rangers, but want to help all the same. You'll find plenty of companions as we journey throughout Colorado. All right. Uh, before we get all that, let me ask course, you a couple of questions. Okay, start off with, uh, yeah, tell us some more about yourselves. Uh, well... You ain't used to that, are you? <laughs> well, Sergey won't blow his own horn, so I'll do it for him. He's Colorado's greatest I mean... war hero. Fought by the Patriarch's side from the beginning and saved the old man's life about a hundred times, right, Sergey? I was going to make a keep it PG joke, but that's all right. 75. Tops. <laughs> now, let me tell you about Mr. Slick here. Nobody knows the streets and alleys of Colorado Springs or the people that live there. Better than dashing Darius Kwan. You're too kind, Sergey. Now kiss. Anyway, you two volunteered for this stuff, huh? Yeah, I was getting a little itchy doing the same old, same old in the marshals. And retirement was driving me stir crazy. Just sitting around listening to the paint peel. I jumped at the chance to help you folks out. Appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Why are you really here? Let's let's not get too cynical on these two yet. You know, I got plenty of cynicism for the patriarch still. Uh, what was the deal with the alarms and the robots? Not sure exactly. We came by a week and a half ago, and it was stone quiet. Hmm. We were gonna get the place cleaned up before you got here, but then the Dorseys attacked the city, so it got put on the back burner. Take your word for it. Something must have triggered the security systems between then and now. Could have been anything. Mm, could be something to shoot. How long has it been abandoned? Patriarch chased out the last big gang maybe 10 years back. Before that, all kinds of bandits, militias, and cults have lived here since the deluge. 
Recently, it's been mostly outlaws and refugees. We should check around to see if there are any current occupants. That might have set off the alarms, are you saying? Anyway, I'm sorry. Apparently, the mouse wheel centers it in a weird way. What set off the alarms? Yeah, that's kind of what I was getting at, too. What is a deluge? I've been hearing that word a lot. Yeah, we have. Around these parts, we call the nuclear apocalypse the deluge of fire. Because, well, that's what it was. Noah's flood was the deluge of water. The nukes were the deluge of fire. Thank you for your very helpful input there. All right, that's it. Okay. What was the radio operator saying about putting a combat AI in our vehicle? Gonzalez? He's a whiz with stuff like that. The AI will allow you to give the vehicle orders in combat without having to be inside it. Basically, it'll become another member of your squad. That's pretty cool. That's pretty darn cool. Okay, what's next? All right, well, let's see who they got lined up. My advice is to put together a squad with complementary skills. You don't say. Nobody can be great at everything. So pick recruits who are good at things your current team isn't. See. And you can always round out your squad with folks you meet along the way. Good to know. Keep that in mind when you're choosing from the recruits I've rounded up. All right, and that takes us here. So we do require player-created characters, which we have right, right in Dismas here. I'm going to create a couple more real quick. By the way, Dismas has 69 constitution, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to create a couple more real quick. Get us a full party of four. And we'll see what we're doing after that. So just hold tight here for a minute. Three, two, one, go. Hey there, everybody. All right, we're back. And I didn't have custom portraits for the other two because I didn't think ahead because I am a numpty, but you might recognize Junia and Paracelsus. Let's ready up. Listen, I can get you all the fighting troops you need. That's good to know. But if you meet any talented people in your travels, don't hesitate to sign them up. Sounds good. Now that we've got that sorted, let's talk about the next steps. We'll explore their stats uh, after we're done with the conversation. Now you're the boss here. Thanks. So I'm not going to tell you what to do, but appreciate it. Getting this place up and running wouldn't be a bad place to start. Oh. That means surveying the base and finding specialists to staff it. Okay, we could probably do that in Colorado Springs. I would imagine. Surveying the base sounds good. Perfect. That'll give you a chance to see if any of the junk around here is worth keeping before I toss it all out. After that, you might want to give Sheriff Daisy a hand. Okay. If you impress her, maybe she'll hook you up with some specialist for the base. Sounds good. Anyway, your call. Colorado Thanks, okay. Springs is straight out the main gate. Cool. If you want to go to Denver or Aspen, just hop back in your car and go out the way you came in. Can do. All right, uh, thanks for the info. Uh, one sec. What's up, Marshal? Forgive me for saying so, but I'm guessing you folks are going to need as much help in the field as you will here in HQ. So, what if I joined your squad? At least until you find your feet. I mean, I'm not going to turn you down. What do you have to offer us? He's an extra warm body that can catch bullets for us. That's what he has to offer. Great. I'm at your disposal. I ain't asking questions. You kidding me? Lead the way. <laughs> All right, welcome, boss. You created your first companion. Companions are a unique kind of squad member. Unlike the rangers you create, companions are pre-made and have their own agenda and personality. Piss them off, and they could leave you high and dry. All right, we can have up to six characters. Up to four of them are recruits, which we create, and two of them are open for companions. No reason not to take them along, apparently. I don't know if we all level up at the same time. I mean, they actually let us keep the other two leveled with us, so that was nice. Uh, can we get... You ladies, uh, over here? Oh, those, you were kind of paired together. You gave them a very brown colorization, I've noticed. Thanks for the welcome to the inventory screen. I've already been here, but cool. If I right-click on things, I can have more options. I can view stats. I can field strip weapons, which is nice. Okay. We're not here to do any of that. We're here to look at our team. So let's see what we got. We got Junia over here. Level 3 combat medic. Do they all have stats? Oh, they do. Reynold, or uh, classes. Reynold's level 3 commander. Dismas is level 3 trooper, trooper. Junia is apparently a level 3 combat medic. If you don't recognize the name, is the name of the Vestal. The default name of the Vestal. It, from Darkest Dungeon. Uh, 
you know, decent stats across the board. Foreign intelligence, foreign awareness, foreign coordination. Not terrible. I did not mean to pick this quirk, so I guess I left that there by accident. Well, whatever, things happen. Um, Skill-wise, we got level 3 barter, level 3 first aid, of course. Animal whisperer, because why not? Uh, melee combat sniper rifles, since, you know, more range damage than anything else, I think. And then toaster repair, because someone needs to be able to do it. <laughs> Alright, we're not leveled up enough for perks yet. Uh, Paracelsus, a level 3 heavy gunner, she is apparently right now. Um, high intelligence with a 5. Low charisma. Decent awareness, decent coordination. A little extra in luck and speed as well. She's a poindexter, so she's... Far squishier than everyone else, with only 52 uh, constitution, and she gains less per level, but she gains an extra skill point every two level ups. Which is good, because we have lots of skills on her. She's the only one who doesn't have a level 3 in anything yet, but she's got two levels in big guns, two levels in explosions, two levels in nerd stuff, two in weird science, conventional weapons... Requirement for exotic high-tech equipment. Sounds like it could be fun on a bun. Uh, armor modding, weapon modding, and mechanics are all part of Paracelsus's domain. Alright. Speaking of which, let's uh, take a look at both of these ladies and see what we have to give them. Uh, I don't have any snipers, actually. I do have an assault rifle, but she doesn't have enough in automatic weapons to use it. Which is sad. So she just has her uh, pipe wrench for now. Big. Crude, but effective. But still very crude. Uh, obviously, we're going to give her a medic pack. We'll give her a med hypo as well. Seems like a pretty easy kit. Paracelsus. Yo, we have weapon options. Uh, flamethrower or the the mangler. Or we could actually give her both. But she also has the uh, bunker buster, something she started with. Appears neglected and reliable at first glance. And every other glance after. So, this does some damage. 7 to 11 times 9. Which seems pretty good. Um, Flamethrower, of course, can set them on fire, which seems like it would be useful. Energy, fire, cold, and explosion damage. Elemental weapons ignore armor entirely. Four elemental damage types are energy, fire, cold, and explosive. Enemies are often weak to some and resistant to others. So when it comes to fire, 75% chance of apply burning. Extra damage to humans, animals, and mutants. Less to robots, vehicles, and synths. Very cool. All right. Now, I could, I could let her have both of these, and I might do that and just keep the rocket on standby. Um, unfortunately, we don't have armor for everyone. Uh, we're going to have to reload this as well, but that's okay. We could do that. For items, go ahead and make sure she has a her own stim pack, and then, I don't know, man. Maybe have the nitro spike ready. Well, no, that revives all incapacitated. Yeah, that, I guess we will keep that. There you go. Could do the uh, snowball to apply the stink, but we'll uh, hold off on that for right now. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Looking pretty ready, looking pretty rough, if I do say so myself. With our weapons all across the board. All right. Yo, um, Paracelsus. Just want to have you have this weapon as the ready one, because it's a freaking flamethrower. All right. Come on, everyone. Let's go walk around a bit. Oh! Marshall! Level 4 Lawkeeper. Okay, show off. He's got his own gun, the Convincer. He's got a med hypo ready to go. That's good. Uh, he apparently has enough to use the army rifle. Enough skill, but it's a weaker gun because, no duh, he's going to have super powerful stuff. Although not super powerful stats. He's got fours all around. He's apparently a peacekeeper as well, which means he has higher initiative. Oh my god! <laughs> Five in automatic weapons. Sweet. Okay, now let's move around. Enough time just staring at things. Let's take some time to actually look at things. What? Open this door. What's over here? We get this cleaned out, you can put your truck in here. Sounds like it'd be a good idea. Is that a dead body? Whoa! Rusted slicer dicer. Um this enormous spider-like robot is in bad shape. It twitches in a puddle of its own fluids. It's casing dented and riddled with bullet holes. Judging by the scrape marks on the floor, it looks like someone dragged it into the garage from somewhere else. 
Oh, we don't have enough mechanic skill. It is a slicer dicer, a pre-apocalypse military robot. It appears to have been badly damaged in a firefight and is missing some of its weapons. Upon closer inspection, you notice some of the bullet holes have been patched, and several of the legs show signs of recent welding. Main access panel is open, revealing its wiring and power plant. It's clear someone has been trying to repair the bot. Interesting. I'm guessing it's you? The corpse of a young woman lies at your feet, her body contorted in an unnatural angle. Judging by the smell, she's been here for a while. Uh, okay. Let's uh, try to determine how she died with first aid. Body's unnatural position suggests some kind of seizure, and there are signs of discoloration on her face indicative, indic indicative of heart failure. A heavy metal spinner is gripped tightly in her right hand. The metal is discolored, and the scorch marks black in her fingertips. Looks to you like a textbook case of electrocution. Examine the corpse. Uh, wearing a patchwork jumpsuit and a leather tool belt. Her pockets are crammed with fuses, bundles of wire, and bits of circuit boards. Looks like this wastelander made her living by scavenging and repairing electronics. She would have felt right at home in an old garage like this. Alright, leave her alone. Yo, lockpicking too, huh? We got that. Dismas. Show us, show us what we got in here. Repair kits. Used to restore up to 50% health. The amount repaired increases with mechanic skill level. Oh, that's cool. Really drill in that I should have had a mechanic thing, huh? Oh, we can't do anything with this one. Damn it. This isn't good enough yet. Maybe there was a way to get a level up in here. Oh, we can lock this one, though. Come on, Dismas. Basically your job to get us in everything. The automated chauffeur. Crush heat sink. Scramp. Acidic sludge. Get that pair of Celsius. She'll like. She'll love it, I'm sure. Sick of dodging reckless drivers? Am I? With paying a fortune to shady mechanics that never actually fix your car? Maybe. Consolidated Atomics has the answer. This is an ad, isn't it? Hermes, the revolutionary vehicle AI that's an oh, is that the one that's in ours? Driver, navigator, and auto mechanic. Cool. You know, uh, terminals displaying information about basic systems. All seems normal right now. Um, recall the service elevator platform. Loud grinding emanates from the huge trap door near the garage's entrance. A smell of rusted metal sparking fills the room. Mechanical failure reported. A servitor drone has been issued to re a repair order. Examine activity logs. Most of the logs appear to have been destroyed in a giant server wipe that occurred decades ago. Terminal also has controls for nearby vehicle lifts, but they are all unresponsive. Okay. So that's something that would have to get fixed later. Let's see what we got over here. Trap detected. Oh, explosives level two, huh? All right, I see you. Little trip wire there. Uh, Dismas, can you take care of it? Look at all this machinery. Um, if we can get running, be oh, it's explosives. That's why. Okay, it was an explosives thing. Oh, there's more. Whoa, level four. I ain't getting in there. Not anytime too soon, at least. Uh, there's more over here. I wonder if we can do something. Hmm. Ammo in the trash. Who threw ammo in the trash? Okay. Information about this activity log. The only log you can find on this terminal relates to a massive data wipe from several decades ago. Well, that's not useful. Hmm. Okay, lockpick this, Dismas. I wonder if there's a way to trip that. Hmm. Try something here. Try a little something, something. All right, Ray Ray. Throw the snowball. You can't throw it at the thing. Dang it! But you see what I'm trying to do. Okay. Hmm. Well, if that won't work, would a grenade work? Look, I'm trying to outsmart the game. Leave me alone. Uh. Oh, God! Right here? Of course it doesn't do the tripwire. Eh. That's what I get, I guess. Can I get in there without doing the... That's a no. Well, got a free grenade out of it. Totally worth it. Oh, there's a place to heal around here. Hey, stop burning our cat. Well, how long does a fire last? It's five, four, three, two, 
one, gone. Okay then. That was great. I should have just had one person do it. Oh, dang it. Also, Paracelsus is uh, pretty close to being dead. <laughs> I probably shouldn't let that happen. Oh my god, she healed herself just in time. Alright, lesson learned. Uh, oh. Oh, Reynold, that's right. You, you have a medic pack. Use it. There you go. Maybe a little bit of extra healing to Quan. There we go. Hey, you're pretty good at this. Thanks. Thought I was done there for a sec. Oh, apparently this heals over time, too. Yeah, that's good. Very cool. I'm just gonna give you another hit though right now because apparently that's much better than I thought it was. Ah, uh, there's dead people what in this a room. Stink. Somebody's been using this med bay for a morgue. Gonna take an ocean bleach to get it ready for customers. Yeah. Let's take a look. This female corpse is bloated and putrefied. One of her arms is entirely missing. Black ichor or ichor oozes from her swollen torso. It's perfect cause of death. Looks like the missing arm had nothing to do with her demise. It had been expertly removed and stitched up long before she died. Instead, she seems to have died of an infection or illness. You notice that the corpse's ankles and wrists are scarred as if she had been chained up for a while. Uh, we don't have level 4, so we can't get anything else out of it. Yeah. Okay. What about this one? No more than a skeleton covered in papery skin. Uh, looks like a sample case of starvation and dehydration, but you notice the same scarring on his ankles and wrists as on the other corpses, most likely from manacles. Torn skin suggests they were frequently moved. Okay, then. Uh, thankfully we have some healing stuff here. Uh, how you doing? Major Tom. Oh, we can talk to him now, can't we? No, oh, no, it's too late for that. He's already part of the team. Um, so there's no point in talking to him. What about you? What happened to you? Leathery corpse. Missing several digits and facial features. Looks like exposure to the extreme cold took this person's missing extremities. Scarring indicates that this may have happened multiple times over several years. But it wasn't the cold that killed him. Open wounds across his back indicates he was whipped to death. Ugh. Yeah, I can see where this keeps going. There's a pile of corpses in this corner. Causes of death. Variety of ways. Most of them violent. Bullet holes in one. Crushed skull in the other. Ugh. Uh... Cut throat on the third. They all have the same scarring on their ankles and wrists. Yup. Yep. That all seems uh, quite unfortunate. Come on, team. Okay, well, we, you know, we're not getting in here, apparently. Not anytime soon. The door guarding this vault is enormous and recessed in the walls, floors, and ceiling. It appears they can only be opened with a numeric keypad on the wall several feet away. Yeah, we're not going to enter a key code at random. Probably end up setting off the alarms again. We don't want to go through that story again. Okay. Let's head back into the main room. We actually know there's something we can do with the terminal now that we have someone better with nerd stuff. Isn't that right, Paracelsus? Okay. Come over here. Mess with this terminal a bit for us. Examine the security systems. Navigate the issues with the servitor's behavior. After some searching, they access a hidden menu. The core processor is jammed with thousands of queued requests, dating back a century. So one of the servitors can make any decisions at all. Um, wipe the request. Take a little time to test your code before running it, and then watch the stale request disappear. Processing returns to standard capacity. With the accumulated clutter cleared, the system shows only a few thousand unread messages. Navigating it should be somewhat easier. Now we can read the old logs. Mm, yeah, well, that didn't help. Uh, return to the top menu. Yeah, that's about it. So, does that make the... Oh, hey, they're not sparking anymore. Cool. Well, I'm happy to hear that, little servitor. I missed armor in here. Merc helmet, rad tech armor, and rad tech helmet. It requires strength for these. Which means uh, they're definitely good for Ray Ray. Which means we can share his armor with someone else. Um, this actually ups critical chance, so we're probably giving that to Dismas, but, uh... Oh my lord! Oh my goodness gracious! I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have him wear it, because look at it. He looks great, man. He looks fantastic. Okay, Dismas, enjoy your helmet. Ooh. Yeah, that's pretty swooed. I don't know about the the hat part of it. I, I, I kind of like this look just a little bit more. That's still ridiculous. Okay. 
Uh, Junia definitely needs armor more than Paracelsus, considering she is going to be a melee fighter for a little bit. Probably. All right, this <laughs> Reynold. Sorry, you're looking great with that thing on your head. Okay, I think we got all the other ones in here. Oh, hey, Marcelo, how's it going? Gonzalez seems at home behind his radio equipment. He salutes crisply as you approach. Welcome to your communications hub, Rangers. Thanks. The Patriarch was good enough to let me use my own gear, and I have my high frequency radio equipment all set up. Very cool. From here on out, I will be your voice in the wind. Thank goodness. You can contact Ranger HQ at any time through your radio, and I'll reach out as needed. Okay. When there's a rest to be made under your authority, just radio them into me. Pleasure to serve. Sounds good. Um, tell us about your radio equipment. The finest setup you'll find this side of the Rockies. This equipment took years to get together. A lot of it custom work. String and pieces of gum, you know? This is the only setup in Colorado mm -hmm. able to communicate on all sorts of frequency bands, up to the HF band. Impressive. That means we can reach you pretty much no matter where you are in Colorado. That's good stuff, my dude. The basic controls are straightforward. You should try the device yourselves whenever you're here. I've picked up all kinds of signals. It's possible you could even reach Arizona. That is impressive. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, what do you think about the Patriarch? I've worked the radio for some time now, and I hear all kinds of stories from other parts of the world. Horrors you wouldn't believe. Was Colorado perfect? No. But it's a damn sight better than any alternative I've seen. Seen or heard? Those are slightly different. That's fine. Uh, you didn't really answer my question at all, but all right. How do you feel about being part of the Rangers? Sure, let's ask him. Speaking frankly, great. Hmm. Protect and serve, right? Things had mm -hmm. grown stale with the Marshals. Felt like I'd reached the end of what I could do for the people there. Proud to be a Ranger now. All right. So you can become more proud as time goes on. Um, you installed our car AI. Are you an expert? Oh, I'm not. It just turns out artificial intelligence isn't that much different from fiddling with radios. But you're a radio Easy expert. Easy enough to install, it turned out, but I wouldn't know the first thing about it otherwise. All right, I guess that's fair. All right, cool. Thanks, Marcelo. Anytime. Let's continue exploring a bit and see what else we got around here. Okay. Let's start... What is this? <gasps> it's a toaster! We need toaster repair level 3, though. We don't have a toaster to that's good enough for it. Well, can we get down here from there? Nope, we gotta go all the way around, huh? Okay, well, let's start by going up here. Pretty grand in here. Maybe you can make it your trophy hall or museum or something. Well, or not before we take board. on these uh, Razorbacks over here. Alright, we see them. We're ready for them. Head over here. Okay. Oh, no, no, get back. Yeah. Okay, business. Can we get a shot? Nope. Blocked. Oh, they're going to see us, though. Or not. You can't really see through walls, it turns out. Hey, don't shoot Reynold, please. Juan, we could use your shots, too. I mean, I doubt they can shoot at us. You know? So it's probably better to just get out here, get our melee lads ready as backup, and then get some shooting done, you know? Not you. I want to... Dismiss. Okay. Dude, they have 47 health. That seems like a lot. Okay. There are you get up here too. Alright. Now we just wait for them. To show up. I guess I could have you crouch, too. Crouching does give you additional hit chance, evasion, and detection time. Okay, start us off. Dismas. No, Dismas, what the heck? He missed, dude! That enemy has armor, which means it can block some of your incoming damage. Fortunately, all damage has all weapons have a penetration stat. If your penetration is equal or greater to the armor, your weapon will deal full damage. If it is less, you'll do a proportionate of damage. But no more than 80%. Alright. Good to know. Thank you for telling me about the percentage basis. Uh, yeah, Ray Ray, just get up here. Go for the shot. 
There you go. Good stuff. Give yourself an extra point of defense. Dismiss. I'm very disappointed in you, but... Good shot nonetheless. That's all you needed. Ambush. Get ready for the next one. We know it's here. Uh, Junia, why don't you run up here? And you get ready to ambush as well. Paracelsus, I also... Hmm. Apparently you cannot ambush with this weapon. Because it's out of ammunition. And we only have one shot for it. So let's switch off to the Bunker Buster. You're ready to ambush with that. Okay, we know it's coming. Here it comes. Oh, I do not like the uh, way it's coming. It can shoot at us! Go, Major Tom! Oh, he's hurting himself. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like the part where Major Tom can hurt himself on the creature. Uh, we gotta get over here. So I tell you what, come over here, Reynold, and then prepare for the next turn. Business, come over here, get ready to shoot. Give it your juice. Oh, you left it with just so little. Oh, Junia, she's done it. Heck yeah, it was. Sorry, you got poison. Uh, 84 seconds? Minus 5% health per turn? Jeez. We get poison ourselves. Uh, oh, he has two skills, too. Puncturing shot and center mass. Usable in combat or exploration. A reliable attack. Extra hit chance, but no crit chance. And way less damage. Um, whereas puncturing shot deals double damage against stunned targets. Nice. And it can damage armor. Very cool. Yeah, he's going to take damage over time. It's just, it is what it is at this point. So, nothing we can really check with them. What is this? A fallen billboard? Who put it here? No, that's a good question. What is this place? The power button on the machine resists your press. It's seemingly rusted in place. It makes a sandy crunch as it finally gives away. The screen comes to life with a sad beep. Raid failure. Corruption detected across multiple sectors. Initiating automated repair operations. Recovery complete. View recovered logs. Sure, let's see the old security logs. All right, you may need a computer expert to access some of them. Uh, we do have some nerd stuff available. Yo, these are all the way back to 2000. Let's see what happened 20 years ago. Classified information purge initiated. Report 2. Erasure complete. Command cleared. Activating in T-30 minutes. Intrusive deployment detected. Monitoring. Retreated without engagement. Monitoring. Okay. What happened in 2009? Um, intrusive movement detected. Yep. Quadrupedal creature identified as non-hostile. Monitoring deprioritized. Creature remains. Creature departs. Monitored without engagement. Incidents involving security response 5. Hmm. Intrusive movement detected. Monitoring. Bipedal creature. Deploying servitors. Intruder pa uh, pacified. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, incidents monitored without engagement. 2008. Incidents involving security response. Nine. Intention was for intruder. Uh, logging technological review request with information technology. Report 100. Okay. 2068. Intruder 32 returns to war room. Starts fire for intruder. Other intruders. Wow. Okay. Providing them with a meal. Oh, okay, they're like squatters. Gotcha. Following abduction of core servitors by intruder 11. Request has been logged 1,500 times. Priority elevated. Hmm. Attempting to wake remaining servitors. Wake attempt resulted in failure. Incidents monitored without engagement. A lot. With response, a lot. Failed security response, 1. Inability to respond, 4,000. Intruder 34 is now classified as deceased. Okay, I'm guessing it's going to continue doing that. Let's get the nerd stuff one. It's a bad metadata. Kept this file filtering properly, but you're able to repair it. Uh, 1999. Radio signal reconstructed from partial burst over the last past two months. Transcript follows. Good people of Arizona, we, the remaining officers of the 249th Engineer Battalion, have been unable to contact our leaders at Forcecom for too long and have come to the unfortunate conclusion that our government has fallen. Every one of us here joined the army to protect the people of these United States, and even if the U.S. is no more, we intend to continue to, to protect you to the best of our ability. We've heard your cries for help on the radio, and we want you to know help is coming. Keep calling, shelter in place, and stay strong. We're on our way. This message, message will repeat.
Um, there's more nerd stuff. Okay. Fix an overwrite error at the start of the log. 1998. Citadel Star Station reports confirmed. Anti-ballistic countermeasures armed. Alert status raised to red. NORAD tracking confirms multiple incoming contact signals. Protective countermeasures allocated to high priority targets. Personnel ordered to report to assigned stations and shelters. CO in R confirms countermeasures in the local area 95% effective. Cannot raise communication with NORAD HQ or PACOM. Cannot raise communication with White House. Revised estimates of success rate of countermeasures outside a local area are at 5%. Alert status remains red. We are not smart enough to see the next archive. All right. Let's step away for now. Uh, there's something over here, though. What is this? Is this just scrap? It's probably just scrap. Oh, there's more up there, too. Scrap, money, and more moldy socks. Who's leaving all these moldy socks around, dude? At least this is ammo. Better than socks. Like, what the heck are we doing? Ooh, hey, that's a rocket. Nice. Very cool. Alright. Move out, team. Oh, that, this led us in here. Is that a mess hall? Well, this must have been the mess hall. Uh-huh. Better get this up and running pronto. Keeping your people well fed is probably the easiest mm. way to keep them loyal. It's clear someone recently fled mid-meal because the food is cold and partially eaten. We can't repair that toaster, which is unfortunate. Uh, okay. Re excuse you. Alright, boys. Get ready. The hell are you? Don't shoot. I mean, we're thinking about it. The woman is gaunt, her clothes ragged. She's surrounded by a group of beraggled vagrants who watch you with fear and mistrust. Squatters. Who Who are you? You're not dressed like the marshals. I know, I'm dressed as a big daddy. What do you think? Uh, for the Rangers, who are you? I'm Del Hackett, and I... Well, I, I speak for these people. I speak We've for the trees. for months, and we've got nowhere to go. Please, will you let us stay? Mm -hmm. No, I am the Ray Ray. I speak for the base. Bad Get out of here, or I'll kick your case. I've been in their shoes, but this is a military base. I mean... If we have squatters everywhere, it'll be hard to keep discipline. Your recruits won't like it either. Well, why can't I ask my recruits? They're all right here. I should be allowed to take a vote. don't care about people like us, but you're not beholden to them. She shoots a fearful look at Quan, but he doesn't seem to notice. Hmm. All right. Well, let's grill him before we make a decision. Where are you from? We all farmed in the border country between Colorado and the Plains. Thought we were safe out there, under the Patriarch's protection. Mm-hmm. Back then, the gangs feared the Patriarch. <laughs> Not anymore. They burned our greenhouses and killed everyone who tried to fight them. No place left to run but here. For any of us. Sounds pretty bad. You set off the security systems? Not intentionally. So yes. The Patriarch's people drove up to the base a few days ago. Uh-huh. So we hid in here for a while. Then when Andy went to check if they left... All the doors slammed shut, and the alarms started whooping. So we can shoot Ra shoot Andy, but the rest of you will leave, right? Don't know what happened. Been living in these ruins for weeks, and we never set anything off before. All right. Well, why can't you go live in Colorado Springs, the city? We're not welcome there. Why not? They already have too many mouths to feed. Why can't you contribute? More are always coming. I mean... Look, they are refugees. I mean, kind of. That guy, and that guy next to the lockers, really looks like he's having a bad time. Um, but so, if you stay, I'm gonna push you to work. I want you to know that you're not gonna stand around here and eat all of our cold food. At the very le least, you're gonna have to learn how to cook it. We'll give them a chance. Worst case scenario, we'll shoot them later. Your call won't make the volunteers happy, but the Patriarch put you in charge, not them. Hey, gave me reputation with the refugees. You said yes. Uh, well, I was sure you wouldn't. I mean, if it was Dismas's decision, no. But actually, no, he'd probably say yes. Reynold wouldn't care. 
I don't see Reynold caring. I don't see Junia caring that much either. And Peristelsis is like, ooh, more experiments. So, yeah, no, I guess you could stay. I get, That would probably vote for you staying. Anyway, their uh, haggard faces break into smiles, and a few of them hug each other. We won't be any trouble, I promise, and, and we'll help out wherever we can. That's what I want to hear. <sighs> Thank you for giving us a chance. Oh, and uh, one of our people is missing. Andy. Dang it, Andy! You find him hiding out somewhere. You send him back to us? Hear that, everyone? We gotta make ourselves useful around here. you damn right. No loafing around eating our cold food. Let us stay. I wish more folks were like you, Rangers. Yeah, yeah. What do you think, Major Tom? Did I make the right decision? Oh, I can change my look here. Nice. I mean, Reynolds perfect. There's nothing to change. But maybe, uh... Maybe a change of colors for, uh... For Junia over here. Yeah, maybe get out of the... Get out of the everyone wearing brown thing. What is this, a Call of Duty game? Uh... <laughs> Yeah, let's go with we'll, we'll go with a blue. Yeah, give us some a nice blue. That way. She stands out now. Uh, maybe a little too much, but she stands out. <laughs> Alright, nice. Sure was kind of you to let us stay. Yeah, I heard that one before. We got some lock picking skill. We're gonna take this, by the way. This is ours. Soldier's note. We'll preserve tape from right after the war, containing a recording from a Peterson Air Force guard. Alright, Peterson. Talk to me. Oh, yeah? Some civilians dug under the fence and tried to make a run for the commissary. Sergeant Peters told us to open fire. Mm. Standing orders. There's to be shot on sight. Yeah, I, I can see that. They didn't look like much to me from 80 meters. Yeah. And when we got close enough to inspect the bodies, I saw why. They, they looked like scarecrows. Maybe 15. Whoa. Every time I close my eyes, I see that kid's face. God forgive me. I can't do this anymore. God dang. Didn't think I need to put a content warning at the beginning of this. Hi. Hi? Why is there a prisoner here? What? What's in here? Is this the key to the cell? I swear to God, if it's the key to the cell. It's... The bridge man. <laughs> it's the key to the cell! What happened to this guy? Hey, dead guy! What happened to you? I'll talk to you in a minute, dear prisoner. Body of a young man lies twisted on the floor. He wears shabby clothes. He's been dead long enough for the body to go cold, but not long enough to rot. Hmm. What's the cause of death? Uh, contorted limbs and proximity to an ancient computer seems to suggest a painful death by electrocution. Discoloration in the face suggests heart failure, which might be electricity, but there's a lack of burns, which makes that inconclusive. Some dry to foamy spittle, barely detectable at the edges of the mouth, make poison a much more likely culprit. Search the body. Man was carrying nothing but the clothes he wore on his body, and those are tattered and grimy. The, whole, the shoes have holes in their soles. In one of his pockets, he found a half-eaten, sweet-smelling mushroom. Wow. Are we just... What's going on with that guy? Is he, uh, right? He's dead, dude. Yeah, there is stuff in here. Okay. So, at least that one's worth opening. Before we use the key... Who the heck are you? Waving through the bars of a cell is a pale, rail-thin man with matted hair and fraying faded clothes. He gives you a lazy, glassy-eyed grin. Hey, dudes. How hey, dude. Well, well, it's up. Seen you before, have I? Don't think so, dude. We're the Rangers. This will be our new headquarters. Rangers, huh? Cool, man. Cool. I uh, like your look. I think I had a shirt like that once a long time. Uh, ago. Long, probably not. Long time ago. Uh, headquarters for what? For our Ranger base, dude. We came from. Uh, well, we did come from Arizona to help the Patriarch. 
Is it top secret? I don't think it's top secret. This is technically our mission. This is like supposed to be our mission statement. So, do we want to give them the mission or the mission state? I guess we'll give them the mission statement. That's cool. Helping's good. I like helping. Uh, Dude, are there like more of you? This guy. Here. We found some recruits from the area. More joining soon. Oh, hey man, that's good. That's that's good, man. More uh, uh, people hanging out. Dude, what is wrong cool, with you? Man. Cool. So hey, uh, what? Uh, yeah, what? If we have some questions for you, if you don't mind. Oh yeah, man. Of course. I don't. I, I don't mind. What else are you gonna do? Whatever. All right. Uh, what's your name? My name. Uh, yeah. Uh, Ned. Ned. Harry. Nick. Booger. Dickens. What? <laughs> He's trying to come up with joke names know. now. I don't Lyle. Something All right. Like Honestly, I don't, you know, remember. It's been a long time since I thought about that, man. A long time since I thought long about your name. Time since someone uh, asked me about it. I I kind of been here for a while. It's kind of what I figured. How long you been here? Couldn't tell you, man. Couldn't tell you. Like there's no windows or clocks in here, you know. No. Hard to keep track of when the day uh when the day starts or ends, anyway, a long time. Yeah, I figured that. For other groups, uh, other people to come and go. Dude, I feel like he's going to rip his skin off, and he's going to be a giant cockroach underneath. Like, a hundred percent. How have you survived? That's a good question. And it's probably going to be—he's going to say cockroaches now, isn't he? You know, man, I—I uh, I got everything I need in here to keep on. Little. Uh, Do you? little crack in the ceiling over there drip some water so I just gotta uh, lick the wall when I'm thirsty and uh, you know what they say about dark damp spaces man mushrooms go there man oh uh, there's mushrooms in the corner so I added a little self uh, self-made fertilizer those mushrooms are growing good so what you're saying is not just mushrooms in the corner gotcha um, living off of wall water and mushrooms. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yum, yum. Oh, yeah. And uh, bugs. There you go. When they come by. When they fly out and try to escape from my body. Because I'm made of them. Buzzy crunchers and climby snappers and skittery two bites and running gushers. Sometimes roly poppers and hoppy specks. What's a squirmy slurp? Those aren't their official names, but that's what they like me to call them. That was a good day, man. But yeah, mainly mushrooms. Gotcha. Uh, you have any idea about who lived here before us? Yeah, sure. Uh, maybe. Okay. Sometimes, like, a guy might come in, but I don't know if he was connected to the guy who came in before him, you know? Fair. Kind of. Kind of hard to keep track of how long it is between visits. And people don't always tell me what's going on outside. Very curious as how long he's been here. But uh, let me see. Last guy who came in to see me was the dead guy. Makes sense. Before him, tired eyes lady. Before okay. her, the smiling woman. Hmm. Before that, it's a little fuzzy. I'm guessing the tired eyes lady is the refugee. I wonder who the uh, smiling woman is. Tell us about the dead guy. Oh, man. That's, uh, that's some wild stuff. So a while ago, that dead guy over there came running in here all nervous and uh, freaked out and starts messing with that uh, computer machine over there. Oh, is that Andy? And, yeah, then there's this big ass flash of light from the computer machine. I could be wrong. Falls down and then all these. Uh, Sirens and flashing lights. It was horrible, man. Uh, like it made it really hard to sleep, you know. So it's the guy who set off all the alarms. Okay. Then after a while, the alarms stopped, and then, uh, well, you came in. Well, that's good to know. Uh, tired eyes lady. I'm 
one to talk on that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a piece of crap, all right. Be mad at bugs and all. Anyway, she came in here looking sad. Eyes looked like she hadn't, uh, hadn't seen a good night's rest in years. Okay. We talked um, for a bit, and then she left again. Oh, yeah, that's definitely... Bugs, I think I can still hear her voice. That's definitely her? Oh, okay. She didn't die, and she's haunting me for some reason. Though, now that I think about it, I guess I'd be glad for the company, you know? Okay. Tell me about the smiling woman. This is something I'm interested in. Oh, I don't know who that nice is. lady, man. Had a big old smile on her face the whole time we talked. Just never stopped smiling. I think she said she was a traitor. Huh. Talked about how she had some merchandise to keep here and... Some people she was going to deal with. Said I wasn't uh, a suitable client, which, because uh, I got no money. Well, mm -hmm. actually, she said I wouldn't be suitable for her clients, which I thought was a weird way to uh, to say that. So you met, you met one of the Patriarch's kids, sounds like. What do you mean by a little fuzzy in your memory? Oh, man, it's, um, I've been here a long time. And I eat a lot of mushrooms. I can't always remember things that happened in the uh, olden days, but fair enough. I'll try. There was, and there was, um, and there was a I'm sorry. Bear. What are these names? Lip licker and uh, the bloody screamers and uh, and the metal fellers and mm -hmm. the really white guy and the owl. Owl face. Owl oh, face, yeah. And the six wee men and a lion. But, wee uh, men and a lion. Yeah, hard to remember who came in first and uh, which ones were just a nursery <laughs> rhyme my grandma told me. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, you have to entertain yourself down here somehow, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Cool. What, why are you in here? Because uh, the cell door is locked. Fair. <laughs> yeah. Uh, why were you put in here? Oh, man, didn't you like my joke? Okay, okay, like, well, so a guy I used to be friends with, well, I guess he was more of a... More of a more business, of a business partner. Business yeah. partner. Friend, though, too, man. Like, former friend who decided he didn't uh, want to go splitsies anymore, so he... Okay. He conked me on the head. When I woke up, um, I, I was You were in here. here. Gotcha. Real cool. Bummer, man. Like, seriously. So, uh, what happened with the dead guy? Uh, actually, yeah, let's let's point this out. He doesn't appear to have been killed by electrocution. It looks to be poison. What? That's, uh, <laughs> that's really something else. Some poison killed that poor guy at the exact same time as that machine zapped him. Dude. Dude. Man. What a, what a wacky world. Uh-huh. We found a half-eaten mushroom in his pocket. Oh, yum. Mushrooms are the best, man. So, uh, so many flavors. I, that's and not what I was... Every, uh, everywhere and grow It's not really easy. what I... Okay. I love them. I can <laughs> tell. They were poisonous ones. <laughs> Everyone else, dude. So, uh, we're going now. Oh. chatting for a bit gotten to know uh gotten to know each other a little right no i've been stuck in here for um at least a lot of years and it would be uh it would be much nicer if i um wasn't do you um do you think you could maybe do me a solid and uh like Find a way to get me out of here. I don't know, dude. A lot of people have come by, and not a single one of them has bothered to let you out. Uh, let's see what we can do. No promises. Cool, cool. I, I get it, man. No pressure. But, uh, he totally killed that guy. He snuck him a mushroom or something. Anyway, get us in here. Can I have that hat that's on the floor? I see the hat. Oh, this is a watch. It's not a hat at all. 
I don't really want to go and find his mushrooms. Uh, anything else in here? Nope, that's it for us to look at. I do wonder if that is... Yo, let me talk to her real quick. Hey, Del. You're good people, Rangers. We'll find a way to pay you back. Anything you need? Well, I need to... You think you found your missing guy, Andy. Sorry to say it. You just be dead. Andy. Damn it. I was afraid of that. We've been locked up for days, but... At least we had our supplies with us. How did he... No. I don't want to know. It's alright. Enough death in this world. Don't need the details to make it even more bitter. I get that. Thanks for telling me, Rangers. I'll break it to the others. Sounds good. You had more time to explore the base than we have. Can we ask you about it? Sure. Alright, thanks. Uh, did you touch any of the equipment in your war room? Andy may have. He's the only one of us who knew computers. I told him to stay out of there because I was afraid of... Well, look. Of something like what happened when this whole place got locked down. Yeah, I get that. You know anything about the corpses in the med bay? Oh, it's it's horrible. They were there when we arrived. Probably been rotting away for months from the look of them. Yeah. Oh, not to mention the smell. So nothing we don't know. Have you been to the brig? Yep. There was a man locked in there when we moved in. Yep. Living off insects and mushrooms in his cell. I, well, I, I left him locked up after I met him. Yeah, we're probably doing that too. I, I felt bad about that. He I don't. Cordial enough, and those glassy Oop. eyes. Sorry, you kept asking questions and stuff. Yeah. Uh, what'd you find in the armory? Booby traps, mostly. Yeah, we, we uh. Well, I'm gonna say took care of those. One of my people disarmed an explosive on a door, but. Missed a gas mine under the floor panel on the other side. She was vomiting for a week. Almost died. I told well, everyone to good. avoid the room after that. No one here is worth losing over whatever guns may or may not be in there. There wasn't much. Um, anything we can scavenge in the garage? I poked my head in there and saw a giant robot next to a dead body. Hard pass. Yeah, we don't know what to do about that yet. What's in the archive room? We first got into the base through a hole in the archive room's wall. Some critters living in there chased us around, but we managed to shut them in before anyone got seriously hurt. We've yeah. been trying to snare them for a while for fresh meat, but they just chew through the ropes like they're Sour Patch Kids. Very interesting reference for a post-apocalyptic wasteland, but okay. Fair enough. Careful out there. It's an uncaring world. Yeah, I know. I've heard of it. All right, well... Let's take a look outside very quickly, just to make sure we haven't missed anything. We're almost done exploring the, the entire base. There's uh, General William Jackson Palmer, or at least this would be him, if uh, he was there. Jody! I need to rest a spell, catch my breath. That all right with you? Yeah, how are your injuries? You covering okay? You doing a good? Uh, I'm still healing up. Go out and find your footing while I get back on my feet. Sounds good. Missing Arizona? Oh, man. More every day. This place is nice and all. Kind of majestic with all the mountains and wild weather, but mm -hmm. it's hard to enjoy it when I know everybody back home is dying by inches. It's exactly how I felt like when I visited Colorado, or when I moved to Colorado from Florida. It's very, very nice views with the mountains and... The weather is great, but then everyone back home in Florida is dying by inches. Gotta finish up our business with the Patriarch and get the supplies he promised us back home. It's just People Florida. are counting on us. My folks are counting on us. Sorry. I just want to get this done and get back to them. I hear you. Talk to you later, Jody. Later. All right. At least she's in good spirits. I appreciate that. Signpost. Crudely painted. This is Colorado Springs. All right, nothing else over here, from what I can see. Hey, there's our, uh, there's a big lad. That's awesome. I love that. Uh, yo, what's the snowballs? Hey, an armor crate. See, I'm happy I explored. Snow pile. Yep. Um. Just grab some. Yay! Five snowballs! Finally, we can have a party. Ooh, a dog! Yo! Yo! Doggo! 
Two doggo. Buried items and two doggo. That's right. Oh, dang it. You need to try to charm him. Try again. Requires level three. Dang it. What about this one? Maybe this one will listen. Try, try the other one. Oh, there's a third dog. Ah, they probably all require level three. Is that a chicken? Dude, what is going on around here? That's a lot of scrap, I feel like. Anyway, we found some buried treasure, apparently. And thankfully, we have a shovel. Don't know why we have a shovel, but we do. Industrial saw blade. Sweet. Hydra skin panels. Armor mod for leg armor. Adds evasion and armor. As far as level one armor modding. Alright. What's over here? A long mag. Increases magazine size for weapons. Cool. That is a cyborg chicken. Excuse me, what? Hello! Metal plate electronics have been implanted in this chicken's body. It looks up at you. A sense of loneliness in its eyes. You don't see any of the chickens around. Cluck? Cluck? Well, we gotta find some other chickens around, apparently. Well, our quest just expanded several fold in importance. We now have to find chickens. Also, get up here. There we go. Yeah, oh! Okay, there was an explosion up there. Moved a little bit too quickly. Paid for it. Please do some healing on Paracelsus. <laughs> While we open the armor pack. Ooh! This monstrous appearance may seem crude, but inside the helmet ventilation is good and the field of view is unobstructed. Extra armor, gear storage, and insulated underlining. Maybe the Rangers can make it in Colorado after all with this tactical pair of armor. Dude, we're... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh ho 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 ho! Ooh, that is that's so good. Ooh, this doesn't require strength either. Brad Tech does, but dude, look at Reynolds. He looks sick. Okay, um, we need to figure out who can wear the rest of this. I don't want to lose action points over it, uh, but no one else has the strength to wear either of these yet. So maybe on the next level up. No, it's going to take at least two. Uh, which means, technically, I should give someone else the powered armor. I mean, this still looks pretty nice. But then I can give this to, uh... To Junia, actually. Would be the best one to have it. There you go. Heck yeah! You look great. And that means you can take the regular armor, which you will not have visible, because it doesn't look that great. Cool! Cool! Now we just have a helmet we can't use. I, we're going to have to watch out for a trap on the other section. What other section that... Um, I may have played a little bit of this part before, but I know there's a little bit more of this. We're exploring the whole thing, if you couldn't tell before we uh, call this episode an end. I want to explore the whole base. It's my video. I can do whatever I want. This is apparently the uh, main garage door. Come on. How close? Sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? More buried stuff? Okay. A Hot Wheels car? Well, hot damn, son! Okay. Let's, let's try to be more careful coming up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, a rabbit. Okay, right, that's fine. We're not scared of a rabbit. I'm not. Okay, let's get up here carefully now. So there is something up here. Control chip, scrap, sludge. Alright, nothing, nothing amazing. Oh there's, a, oh, oh, there's a container right here. I missed that. Hold up. Dollar dollars. Books, books. Burned, but books. Books nonetheless. Looks like we found everything that's hidden around here right now. Alright. Cool. Can I... Is there a way to check that? There you go. The map itself. So this is where we are. This is where the camera's looking. There's an exit here to Colorado. There's here to downtown Colorado Springs and of course that's the war room so it looks like we've explored everything except for whatever is down here which we cannot get into and of course this is our Kodiak and this is us all right very neat so now that we have explored everything that is gonna be it for this 
episode if that plays Wasteland 3. Next time, we're going to explore Colorado Springs. See what's going on over there. Dude, Reynold looks amazing. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of uh, Great Wasteland 3. Give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. And I will see you in the next video, my doodly dudes.